Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Eichenfell. Last time we left off, we defeated Ivan and Bax, the two nerds that we saw last time, and this time I'm guessing we can probably go into that bar, but can we do anything anywhere else? Front door's locked. I think it's probably mostly just go in that bar we saw. I wonder if we can tell this guy that we found the secret passage. Yeah, I already found that, man. Later, nerd. Already collected all of that stuff. Alright. The stock and barrel. Hey, it's you guys. Alright, are you sure you can finish that? I'll try drinks if you want. Don't patronize me, I can empty a cup as well as anyone. Buddy, it's larger than you are. Okay, so these are different ghosts. We came so far north just to find the school locked up. I really wanted to see the library, too. To be honest, I'm kind of glad I can fail this temporarily shut down. The drinks up north are strong. Hick. It's locked. There's a kitty. Pet the cat. HP's restored. Let's go ahead and save again, I guess. Who are you? Friend? Hey, Red. Long time no see. Me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were someone else. You do look a lot like her. Since we haven't met, let me introduce myself. I am Zane, the gym witch. Zane? I imagine it's Zane because it has an accent over the E. Zane, the gym witch. My sister told me about you. She spoke of a witch that can turn gems into magical items. Correct, and I'm setting up my trade and I can fell for a while. But, ever since the monster started appearing, I haven't been able to do my craft. You seem well-traveled, can I ask you for a favor? Perfect, let me explain. I can fell is full of magic gems. Shiny ones, sparkly ones, rare ones. Even if folks find them, they don't know what to do with them. That's where I come in. With just a few gems, I can work wonders. If you find any, bring them to me and I can craft you something wonderful. Turn magic gems into useful items? Sounds good to me. It's bad form to set up shop in someone else's establishment. So I've set myself up a cozy little gem trade just outside. Come visit when you found some gems for me to work with. I've got one. Is that enough? What's over here? Sniffle? Uh, oh dear. Okay. Is that all you got to say? Hello. The cat door opens its mouth. But you're not sure what it wants? Uh... What? <laughs> the hell is that? Should I write that down? Is that maybe an item I get in the future? Oh wait, what is this? You found a warm snug. I got a warm snug. Oh look, it uh, increases my defense but decreases my speed? No. I am good. I am good. Thanks for the warm snug though. Wait, is that book something I can examine too? Okay. Sniffle? Somebody crying? Okay, well we can't get in there. Gotta remember that- oh jeez, I just now realized the mouse is on the screen. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I did that in the previous episode too. I gotta remember to keep an eye on that. <sighs> now what? You're looking a bit lost over there. Can I whip you up something, or...? It's Marit. Thank you, that'd be great. Whoa. That ought to do the trick. W wow <laughs> That's got some fire to it. I call it Hester's Breath. Or... Was it- was that breath? Named after the storybook dragon, of course. Do the witches around here all like spicy drinks like this? Most of them. One of Eichenfell's students actually came up with the recipe for this one. In fact, she looked kind of just like you. Let me guess. Safina Hildegard? The wild child herself. You related? I'm her sister. She's gone missing, and I came here myself hoping to find her. Nah, but now the school's all closed off. 
I don't know where she is, or if she's even still in the school. No, oh, Petronella might know. Petronella? Safina's friend? Petronella was visiting the, bar the barrel when the school shut down, but now they're stuck out here with the rest of us. Is Petronella still here? Third room down the hall. Oh, but the crying. The last I saw them, they were looking pretty glum. Good luck to you. Yay! I remember Petronella. She, um, was a party member in the demo. Slight spoiler, I guess. Uh, Petronella? Is that you? Who is it? My name is Marit. I'm Safina's sister. I'm looking for her. I was hoping you could help me out. So, Safina's sister? The door unlocks. Hi. Y you're... Um... Petronella, right? Are... are you alright? I'm really sorry to bother you. But I'm worried about Safina. I think something happened to her. Just gonna chill on opposite sides of the bed. So you and Safina met in your first year, right? She's quite the handful, but she usually means well. Uh, are y you... Really, Safina's sister? <laughs> Take a look at me, it's obvious, isn't it? I'll just jump on her bed. She talked about you lots, when she came home every summer. Nell never likes any of my plans, but they come along anyway. She says you're an amazing alchemist. Is that like, potions and stuff? Y yeah She s said that? Yep. She said she'd sneak out of school all the time, dragging you along. Y yeah At first I was so scared of getting in trouble. But it was always nice to hang out here, away from the other students. I... I don't know where Safina is either. We ha have a secret way in, but it only works for Safina. And, and now I'm locked out and I can't find her and... Hey, it's... I'm so useless. I, I got stuck out here on my own. I'm such a... useless fool. Don't say that, you're not useless. I am. I always have been. I can't do anything w without Saf. I'm a h horrible friend. Maybe that's what you think, but we're both still worried about Saf. You, th you said there'd be a secret passage you two used. Do you think you could show me where it is? M maybe, but... I know, you said it only works for Saf, but I know my sister better than anybody else. So maybe I can figure something out. The, the passage is in the tool shed, outside the inn. Do you want to come check it out? W wait D Don't leave me here. I'll go with you. Please don't leave me alone. Of course. Let's go. Saf had the spare key to the tool shed. Stock the innkeeper has the only other one. Hmm. Alright. Maybe he'll let us borrow it. New party member? Petronella joins the party! New party member. Okay, so you have a bandana on which increases your speed. How much life do you have? If I remember correctly, I think you're our healer? So... It might be good to have you with more defense, but I kind of like having you just with more speed at the moment. Whoops, I didn't mean to take your shirt off, I'm sorry. <laughs> or your sweater. 
You're currently using a tree knot, and you refuse to use anything else. You have leather shoes, slightly increases gold, extra power. Let's put the slightly increased gold on you. Why don't we? Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Huh. Oh, if it isn't Petronella. Marie got you out of hiding, I see. Uh, hello, Mr. Omfrey. Hey, thanks for letting me stay here. You and Safina always keep me company on rainy days. We were, um, hoping we could borrow your tool shed key. My tool shed? That's where Safina's secret p passage to Eichenfell is. That explains it. I wondered how you and Safina were always visiting off hours. We weren't. We d didn't mean to. Don't worry, I'm not gonna rat on you. I got up all- I got up to all sorts of trouble in my own school days. The key's in the cellar. But there's some strange magic blocking the entrance. I haven't been able to get down there all day. More strange magic. Here's the deal. If you two can clear up the entrance for me, the key's yours. Deal. We'll see what we can do. Alright. Oh, and before you head down, I picked up some new supplies if you need them. So you're a shopkeeper, your sister was always good company around here. You're always welcome at the stock and barrel. Okay, you got a tree knot, which is what she already has. All reliables. I forgot what those do. We got the rock seed. Increase of power by two for three turns. Can only be used in battle. Restore 10 HP to a KO'd party member. Do we have any of those? I think I might want one of those. Just in case. Do we have anything we can sell? Collector's item of no use, but worth a small amount of gold. Ooh, okay. Cool. Uh, we can probably sell the pocket knife. I don't think I want the snug, but we'll keep it. The bark strip. I'll keep it just in case. Rock seeds, moldy shrooms, sweet sprout, pink seeds. Alright, so everything else I think I want to keep. I want to keep most equipment. Um, if it has some sort of benefit, that's usually my go-to in RPGs. Just in case, like, we need it down the line for something. Oh, is this where...? Yeah, this is where you set up. Okay, well, there's nothing here for one. I notice. Now that, that is one of my most, that is one of my finest treasures. I can possibly give it up. Oh. Okay, okay, quit making that face. I'll cut you a deal. If you manage to find ten sparkly gems, I'll let you have it. But they're extremely rare, so good luck. Uh, okay, can't guarantee I'll do that. I see you have a rare gem. Come back if you find more. I'll be happy to trade you for my masterfully crafted apparel. Okay, so this is like... Basically, like, star pieces in Paper Mario and stuff. Alright, there wasn't anything else down here we could do now, I don't believe, so let's just go ahead and go into the- Oh, wait! Whoops, no. We're not- we're not going into the tool shed. That's right. Okay. There's fire. The- this is- what is this? He said strange magic, so I thought it might be like this. I can take care of this. Boom. What? What was that? Magic. Uh, at least I think. I've been able to do it ever since I got near Eichenfell. I've n never seen magic like that before. You never had magic before now? No. I think all this magic stuff might be why Eichenfell is shuttered. Do, do you think Saf is okay? We both know she's been in worse spots than this. Come on, let's find that key. Let's do it. The cellar. Are there gonna be monsters in the cellar? There are. Because of course there are. Oh wow, it's worse than stock thought down here. 
Uh, okay, I thought- I thought that was a cutscene or something when that enemy started moving around, but no. Okay, so we can go under the things that, like, ride- that, like, are floating. Well, this is a new enemy. My cat just dragging themselves along the couch. Nice. Nice, you little idiot. Okay, so what's the deal with you? Let's see, you have a chemical bubble pops on a ranged target, or a splash an area with acidic con concoction dealing lesser damage. Okay, but that's a big zone that we can hit. And the range on it is massive? Okay, that was just a nice. That's a really, really long range attack, though. Uh, hmm. I can't get in a good spot to hit all of you, but I can hit you two at least. So, boom, up. Oh, just got a nice there. We got a great on the second one. Okay, that's a weird attack. That is an extremely weird attack. Okay, at least I managed to block it that time. Uh, bubble snap. Never used this before. Okay, I managed to get a great. Uh, fireball. Nope. Let's move back one and then fireball. Yes. And Shine. Shine. There we go. Good stuff. We did it. Five XP. I'm s I have slightly more XP than uh, Petronella, which makes sense because I have been kind of rolling without her for a bit. The door is locked. It must be the fast way out once we're further into the cellar. Hello, you're guarding a chest, so I need to defeat you. Oh, it's a big one. <clears throat> it's a big boy. Uh, hmm. Maybe we should go ahead and pop a small... No, no, let's wait. Let's wait. I should view the units. Do we, we don't get any information about them by doing that, do we? Goes Grostling and Grost. Okay, so we don't actually get any information. Well, maybe if we click on them? No. So we don't get any information on them, like if they have any weaknesses or anything like that. That's just what I wanted to check. Uh, I'm going to continue to chill here, and you guys are going to come to me. But we can see how much HP they have by doing that, which can be useful. For sure. I'm very bad at guarding against these guys. Yeah, very, very bad at guarding against these guys. Um, so they have 4 HP. Um, so... Let's see, if I do... This now? Hmm. Okay, no, that doesn't work. Uh... Can I... no. Does this work? Yes, this, this does... no, this does not work. Damn it. Okay, well, we're just gonna bubble snap one of them then. The AoE on that one's not what I need. Whoops. Okay, well, it still dies. <laughs> I'm not used to that attack yet, so... Uh... Ow. Uh, well, we're gonna have to run back here and do a big heal. Big ol' healy. If you miss that, it hurts. Oh my gosh. The timing is weird, too. This is rough. Munch. Okay, I managed to get a great there. That was useful. Um, acid splash. Uh, let's view the units. Okay, you're hurt. Uh, Marika's after me, so let's do an acid splash here. Okay, that was just a nice, unfortunately, but... Uh, you can finish that enemy off. There. Okay, this is spooky. This is actually pretty rough. Ow. Oh no, I missed. Okay, this is bad. Um, how much HP do they each have? These are actually some tough enemies. You have three out of four, you have seven out of eight. Um, I think you can attack, but I think Petronella needs to heal herself next turn. 
Okay, and we managed to kill that enemy. Good. You need to heal, though. Um, 4 HP is not enough. So we're gonna have to use a red. Gonna have to use a... a, a, a uh, mush magic mushroom there. Um, Alright. Big damage. Come on. That's four. Got him. Whew. That was close. That was very close. Okay, so these enemies are not to be trifled with. Got it. Got it, got it. Maybe I should put that woolly cap on someone, but I really like having high speed so I just have more turns. Like, that's... Having more turns in an RPG like this, like, that is so incredibly useful. Um... Okay, you're... we're gonna end your turn. Alright, here you come. Okay, we could get in range to attack you guys, but let's just back up some more... Well, they'll probably be able to reach me. What I really want to do here is heal. Um, let's just fireball, though. Boom. And boom. <clears throat> Alright, and you... They're all going to attack, so let's use these pink seeds. Distant party member. Oh, okay, so I don't- I don't have to use those. If I move up to you right here, I can use a red mushroom on you. Good, good. That heals you back up to full. Which we definitely needed. There we go. Yeah, we really gotta block those attacks. Man, I keep getting just a nice on that, too. Yeah, I'm- I- I can't get the great on this. Okay. Well, that doesn't work out, does it? Let's see. How much HP do you have? You have 1 out of 4. You have 6 out of 8. Okay, I really want to get the fireball damage down on you guys then. So we can kill both of you. Alright. That's good. Um, Chemical bubbles. How much damage would you do? And how much HP does that guy have now? Four? I think I would have to get the grate to actually kill you there. So, I think instead what I'm gonna do is use a small mushroom. There we go. Just heal up a little bit. Make sure we don't die here. I tried to time that for the grate, but it did not work out. Uh, fireball will not work there. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just kill you then little friend. That's one less enemy attacking us, so... Yeah, jeez, I just can't get that timing down. It's fine, though. We win, right? Yes. Do we get healed when we level up? Please tell me we do. I don't quite remember. Level 4, so we get 2 extra HP and extra power, learned a new spell, Motivate. Oh god, and we got a red mushroom, thank you. Okay, please tell me that healed me. Oh no, it's not one of those RPGs. Oh no, this is bad. <laughs> it is not one of those RPGs, everyone. Where we get the free heal from level up. Alright, well, good to know. Should I fight you? I don't know. Uh, you know what, let's just go for it. Oh my god! Um... Okay. Um... Hmm. Well, let's chill back here. I think that's a good call. And... What does Motivate do? Motivate yourself and an ally, raising power for one to three turns. Yourself or an ally. Uh... Hmm. Well, we don't need that right now. I think I would rather just heal you with a red mushroom with this turn. Sounds like a good idea to me. It might be even be worth it just using a bomb on these guys. Because I think it would it would kill all of them if they got into a really good spot. Because mm. I have some bombs left, don't I? Yeah, I have- well, I only have one. Shit. No, we don't want to use that then. We want to save that for a boss, potentially. I think. Okay, well we can hit both of you. Okay, I managed to get the grate there. Oh, I screwed that up. A lot. 
Okay. Uh, we can get some big damage down on you guys. Big boy damage. And you just leveled up, so this is especially gonna hurt. I I screwed that up, though. Damn it. If I would've got the grate there, we would've been fantastic. Oh no, she might die. Okay, you're gonna attack her for some reason. I don't know why. If you would've attacked Petronella, you probably could've killed her there, but... Okay, okay. Um, let's move here. Fireball. All of you. Is this gonna hit Petronella? Oh god, it is. Okay. I didn't know friendly fire was an option. Um, I didn't know friendly fire was an option. Apparently it is. Uh, you each have three HP. Well, we definitely, definitely need to heal you up. Maybe I should have bought more items back at that shop, huh? Maybe I shouldn't have uh, been like, ah, I never buy items in games. We shouldn't need- oh shit, I attacked her again. Oh. So if you get the action command, it does less damage to your friends when you do that. Interesting. I've never seen action commands used that way before. If you actually get the action command, it does less damage to your allies? Like, that's neat. Okay, we only have t four heals. And a revive, I guess. Okay, I want to make sure I'm not missing any uh, gems or anything, too, here. Like, they would probably be in treasure chests, wouldn't they? If I had to guess. What is this? This looks like a weird little spot right here. I'm just kind of investigating everything to make sure I'm not missing stuff. I don't think I am, though. I don't think I want to leave, because I believe that may make all the enemies come back. What about this crate? You look suspicious. No. Okay. Alright, I just want to be sure I'm not missing anything. No hidden pads. Nothing like that. Just making sure, man. Alright, let's go in here. Is this a boss fight? Okay, well we get a full heal at least. You pet the cat. It's praying relaxes you. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Alright, what is this? What do you make of this? Hi. You kids cleared the way. Great work. But I don't see the key anywhere. Ah, it's in a chest right... Oh, it was right here. I guess it fell down below. I'll go fetch it. Oh, phew. I thought you might ask me to. I sure didn't want to climb into some spooky smoking hole. M me n neither. Good luck, kids. I'll be at the bar if you need anything. Uh, I probably want to go back and buy some stuff. It's okay, Nell. You can wait up here. No, I I'll go down. But please don't leave me up here alone. All right. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go back and we're gonna buy some stuff from that shop. I think. Uh, I think that's something that would be well worth our time. So, let's go over here and grab some stuff. Alright, so we probably want some of these. Some of that. We're good. Oh yeah, I never actually checked the old reliables for you. Uh, oh wait, you're still wearing the old reliables. Don't those, like, increase your speed? Yes, they do. Um... And what do, you, what do your shoes do? Increase defense. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, well, well, we'll leave you on those for now. Although, you know what? No. No, we're getting old reliables. I want more turns, damn it. I will go with speed until I see a reason to not go with speed. Because speed seems very, very powerful. So, boom. Old reliables. We'll keep the leather shoes just in case we find out we need defense for some reason or another. But for now, speed is the name of the game for me. Uh, is there anything in there? Anything in here? No? Okay, just checking, just checking. Down in the hole we go. Beacon's birthplace. What? Tool shed key. All right, we got it. Uh, okay, let's go. I'm scared down here. 
And a boss fight. Yup. <sighs> this is my birthplace you tread upon. E. Hey there, big guy. We don't want any trouble. It is already too late. A new season is upon us. A season of fire and fury. What are you talking about? We spirits are the first sign of the days to come. Embrace the season of power and... Oh, boss fight. Alright, you weird potaboo. How about you fight fire with fire? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't though. Maybe we should instead get back. I should motivate myself. Nice. Okay, so we got that for two turns. Do you have anything? Not particularly. Let's see, what item could we use? Sweet sprout, moldy shroom, hot berry. Hmm. Let's just let's just wait with you. Let's let him move a bit closer. And now you're gonna walk up and just bop him right in the face. Eight damage. Ooh, that is strong. Okay. Um, acid. We could hit you with some acid. It would do less damage, but we could do it. All right, let's just let's do it. I need practice on your attacks anyway. One damage. Yippee. Al. Okay, so I did block that at the right time. Okay, we're gonna ignite you again. We still have our damage buff. Doing that big boy eight damage. Bubble slap is what I want to use here, but... I also want to stay in this spot, because I think that means I'm out of range of his attacks. Because his attack seems to go in a, like, straight line there, so I'm, uh, maybe we'll see. We're not in a straight line, but... Okay, we're definitely going to motivate, because that seems like a very, very powerful debuff. I mean, a buff, not debuff. Bounce. Alright, Sonic. Okay, that was a pretty damaging attack, I'll give you that. Okay, is this where... Yeah, this is where he needs to be for us to do bubble. Okay, three damage isn't bad. Marit definitely seems to be our damage dealer, though. I mean, I do have this buff on her, but still. She seems very powerful. Oh, I should have saw how much HP you had. Just one damage. Okay, you're just gonna do breath. Oh, I screwed it up. Okay, she's barely alive, though. Um, how much HP do you have left, sir? Oh, you're dead. Okay, cool. Cool. Boom. Yeah, that damage buff with uh, Marit is very strong. I feel... Strange, like someone set me on fire, even though I am fire. That strangeness? That means you're dead. Wait, what? This is all just so wrong. Wait, what? Uh, I did not expect that. Did not expect a phase two. Definitely, definitely did not expect a phase two. Um... <laughs> uh... Okay, uh... 3 HP, 30 HP, 3 HP, okay. Um, I think I want to try and do this. We can just take out a bunch of these guys really quickly. There we go. The skull explodes. Oh no, it exploded on me. Ow. Oh, sh Marie is so dead. Oh wait, no. You're just spawning more? Okay. Hop. Okay, I'm so glad I got that great, that great block. Um, red mushroom, heal her, please. This, this is, uh, this is dangerous. Uh, no, move there. Okay, how much damage is that? Four. Okay, so we definitely want to explode the enemies on them. That probably does quite a bit of damage. Hop. Okay, we're good. More you skeletons move up. More you skulls, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Okay, I think I want to move there. And I think we want to hit you and the one beside you. 
which makes you explode, which does damage to both of you. All right, good, good, good. Let's see, small mushroom on you, sure. Okay, these fights are actually pretty difficult. I like this. We got some real difficulty here. All right, uh, boom and boom. And you explode on your friend, doing a bunch of damage. You should stop spawning your friends there, dude. Charge? Charbones is charged up. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Um, how much HP does Charbones have left? Oh, he's almost dead. Uh, and we have three turns before he does whatever he's doing, so I think we can just go ahead and finish him off here. Let's do the acid. There we go. Did one damage. But... Let's see, he had six HP. Should I just... Should I just... I mean, we get one more attack from Petronella, so I don't think I have to waste that. Four... You should be down to one HP now, correct? Let me, let me just verify here. Yeah, you have one HP. I think I can do one damage with bubbles now. Assuming I don't mess the input up here. Okay, I got a great. There we go. Whew. Okay, I, I really did not expect that second phase of that boss fight. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that caught me off guard. I'm sure a fair few people died there, probably. Learned a new spell. Salve. Yes, you can finally heal. We got a common coin, a sweet sprout, and a black bomb. Cool. Goodbye, friend. Oh, cool, little friend. Hello, buddy. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Uh... Oh, let me introduce myself. I am... Um... I am... Beacon, that's my name. Well, hello there, Beacon. I've never been asleep so long, I almost forgot. Asleep D down here? Yeah, I don't know how long though. Years, centuries, hard to say. Just waiting for my time to awaken. And awaken you did. Sorry about that. When I awakened, I felt a huge surge of magic pass over me. I lost all control. It's okay, you're not the first spirit to attack me today. Do you know what the surge of magic was? No, I only know that it was my awakening time. But something is wrong, it doesn't feel right. For me, it feels like time has stopped. Marie, do you think... Yeah. I think whatever is causing this is coming from Eichenfell. I can sense it beyond the walls to the east. Oh, oh, I hope you can fix it. I worry for my sister spirits who will also soon awaken. I... I don't know if we can help, but we're going into the school to find out. Best of luck! When I've recovered a bit, I'll come find you. I owe you one for saving me. I will remember that, you better. How do we get out of here? Okay, there we go. And out we go! Oh, there was a cat to... I almost said pray to, but save at down there. <laughs> I should have just done that. Alright, well, we'll save right here. Pet the cat, it's purring relaxes you. HP's restored. There we go. There's another episode of I Can Fell Down. Still having a really fun time with this game, like it... It's doing a lot of neat stuff, and I'm just absolutely in love with it. I really didn't expect to have as much difficulty with those basic enemies, and also the boss fight there, so... Yeah, this is gonna be a fun little adventure. I'm super into this, so... I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time.